Now, I've been doing epistogrammas, and they're very nice. What I really want are a pair of German blue rams. So I'm going to share some secrets with you. And before you know it, have a tank full of baby German rams. Right on in. You're it, Father Fish. Hello. This is Father Fish. I have, for some time now, not had one of my all-time favorite fish. And I'm going to get some. Because I just absolutely love them. Now, I've been doing epistogrammas, and they're very nice. I have a tank full of Oh, half-grown epistos. I now have more epistos than I can do anything with. But what I really miss, what I really want, are a pair of German blue rams. Oh, I love those fish. They're so pretty, and they're so interesting. And I have spawned them countless times. But I had to learn how to do it. And it was not really all that simple. So I'm going to share some secrets with you that'll make it easier for you to leap ahead and before you know it, have a tank full of baby German rams swimming around. So you need to start by getting a pair. You need a male and a female. Now, you don't want to get two males, and you don't want to get two females. Two males will squabble, and one of them will get the short end of the stick. He'll be driven out of the tank or into a corner, where he will be very unhappy. And you don't want two females either, because the male and one of the females will pair up, and the other girl will be odd man out odd girl out and she'll be chased away. She won't be able to share in any of the pleasure, any of the companionship of being with her own. Even if you have a second male, those two males are going to squabble. So one pair, a male and a female. How do you tell a male German ram from a female? Well, you know, it actually it's very simple. If you see a tank full of rams, young adult rams, the males are going to all, every one of them, will be in the front of the tank. And the females, every one of them, will be in the back. So grab one from the front and one from the back. <laughs> no, don't do that. That will not guarantee you a pair. It's just odd that that happens. Both the male and the female have a large black spot. We call it a night sky. On each side of their body is a big black spot. Now, the female has blue stars in her night sky, and the male does not. The female also, as she matures, develops a red belly. The lower part of her body gets bright red. The male does not. The male develops a spine, like a flag, right at the top of his dorsal fin. That's the top fin running down the body. Very first ray will be a straight up flag that'll be taller than the rest of the fins. It'll be black, but sometimes blue, maybe a spot of red. And he'll lower it and raise it and lower it and raise it. You'll see, it'll be obvious. The male is more compressed a little larger. The female's a little more round, and she gets right pudgy when she's full of eggs. So get a pair. When you bring them home, you can put them in your aquarium with other fish. So long as there's nobody in there big enough to hurt them, they're not going to hurt anyone else. But the temperature must be at 80 degrees absolute minimum. No lower than 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 77.5 centigrade. They're a true tropical fish, same as the discus, from the same water. They require warmth. Without it, they will sicken and die. So set them up in your home aquarium. In the meantime, 
if you really want to be able to breed these and be successful with the babies, you need to set up a nursery. How do you do a nursery for rams? Well, you start with a 10-gallon tank. Now, a 5 is okay. It's a little small, but it'll work fine. I prefer a 10-gallon tank. I think it just makes the fish a bit more secure. A 10-gallon tank with a soil substrate. That's about three quarters of an inch of dirt and an inch and a half of sand, giving you a little more than two inches total. So it's not very deep in a 10-gallon tank. And then plant, put some plants in. Stem plants are good. Valisneria is good. Make sure you've got a light on there for those plants. You must have a heater. Remember, you have to keep the temperature of this at 80 degrees. I like to keep them at 82. Provides a little margin of safety, but you can keep them as high as 85. Will not hurt a thing. And oh yes, one more thing. Find a stone, flat stone. You need something opaque. A flat stone and put it about that big, two to three inches in diameter. Put it in a corner of the tank and put it in a corner close to you so you can watch it carefully because they'll let you observe them. Then you need to begin to develop a food web in that tank. So this is going to take two weeks to a month to prepare this tank for the nuptials of your German blue rams. There are plenty of videos on how to create a food web. There's a link below. Spend a couple of weeks building that food web so that you have lots of microfauna in there. You can put a guppy or two in the tank in the meantime to help establish it, to help balance it. But you're going to take that fish out before you put the pair in. Once the tank is ready and you've got a really good culture, you got the stone in the corner, you got the temperature at 82 degrees, you've been feeding your parents on blood worms, black worms, brine shrimp, frozen foods, so they're plumped up and ready to go. The female is showing a little bulge from the eggs, and the male is very interested. Dip them out. Now, rams are unique in that they are initially not afraid of a net. You want to get a wide net. Never use a little tiny net in a fish tank to catch a fish. Just don't do it. Get a large net, minimum six inches wide. Mine are 10 to 12 inches wide. And I don't chase the fish with a net. I very gently and very slowly drop the net in and move it toward the front and the fish will dart to the back and be trapped in the net and I lift it up very quickly and I've got the fish. Easy to do, stress-free, does not cause any kind of commotion and it won't mess up the plants either. Plants will bend over. They'll, they'll be fine. Take the fish out, put them in the new tank. You'll notice that very quickly they'll settle down and they'll take special interest in that rock. If they're ready to go, they will spawn in a few days. Now, maybe they won't. If they don't, don't lose heart. They'll be fine. It'll work just fine. Just give them a little more time. Keep them well fed so the female will have eggs ready to spawn. And before you know it, You'll come down one morning and there will be eggs on that rock. Now what do you do? Absolutely nothing. You watch them. Watch how they take care of the eggs. Watch how the male darts out guarding the nest, making sure nobody can get near it. The female will stand there and wave her fins over the eggs, keeping them clean. They'll switch places sometimes. So the male will be cleaning and the female will be on guard or out looking for something to eat. In two days, those little eggs will hatch and they will be tiny, the tiniest little things. 
they're not going to eat right away. They're not going to eat for at least two days. That'll even have a mouth hit. That still has to develop. And that'll have fins. They can't swim. So they're still growing. They're still developing. They're developing fins, developing their body parts. The parents have been moving them around from place to place, keeping them clean, guarding them, protecting them. And before long, in about two days, then the babies will begin to dart up and drop down, dart up and drop down. Pretty soon they come up and they'll stay up really far. And then they'll all come up and begin hovering. At that point, it is absolutely critical to remove the parents. Now you can take the babies out, but you're going to have to feed them separately. If you've done all of this with the food web, you don't need to do that because the tank is going to provide the basics that they need. You'll be adding some microworm culture. We'll teach you how to do that. But take the parents out, put them back in the aquarium or put them in another 10 gallon tank you've set up so that you can have another 300 baby rams going strong. The babies will begin to feed. They'll begin moving around, swimming around. You'll need to add supplement food because there are hundreds of them. They're gonna devour everything in their vision. Everything in front of them will get eaten. So begin adding some microworms. You can feed microworms maybe two times a day. There's a video below that explains exactly how to maintain a microworm culture. It is one of the very best live foods you can feed to baby fish. And it's absolutely critical. You need to do it. It's perfect. That's really all there is to it. Watch them grow in a couple of weeks. You can start feeding them baby brine shrimp. Learn to hatch brine shrimp. You can hatch them anywhere. I have a video about hatching them in a boot. I was teasing Corey for his $50 brine shrimp hatchery. So I decided I've got a 25 cent brine shrimp hatchery, an old boot. And I put some salt water in, put some eggs in there. And sure enough, the next day it was full of baby brunch. <laughs> baby brine, perfect food. As they grow, they'll need that. And within a month, they're going to be big enough to begin taking some prepared food. So now that you have learned how to do this, you need to try it. And you will be thrilled and delighted and excited to have your very own tank of German blue rams. It'll give you something really worthwhile to trade with that shop down the street. They're going to love it because that's a wonderful fish. Very well. Do join us in our show. The link is down below. A great opportunity to make new friends, fishy friends, learn new tricks and tips, help some other folks and get some help yourself and have some bragging rights on what you are doing. Also, check out our store. We now have every single one of my favorite plants. Well, mine is two that I haven't been able to locate yet, but I will. And they'll be there as well. Lots of plants at really good prices. And we ship out Monday through Thursday. So you get delivery the very week we ship. Within two days, we guarantee healthy live shipment. You're going to get really healthy plants. Well, I appreciate your sticking with us through to the end here. Delighted to be with you. Love you all. Bye for now.